Hey, what's up? Another great day. I had to go and do my annual checkups for medical and everything is cool. My low cholesterol is a little bit lower. My good cholesterol is a little bit higher. No, nothing out of whack. Good stuff. I mean, if you gotta go and do your doctor thing, it's good to find out that everything is on track and you're in good shape. What I want to talk to you about today is Peg's Glorified Ham and Eggs. Now Peg's is a restaurant in the Reno Sparks area and they're the glorified ham and eggs. Why are they glorified? I don't know. Perhaps it's the way they do their menu and everything they do is meant to glorify the ham and eggs. Who, who knows? But what we're talking about is the name of the restaurant. It could have been just Pam's Ham and Eggs. And it would have been boring. It would have been normal. It would have been regular, just like everybody else. The same old, dull, blah way that people have of describing things. You've got to be interesting. You've got to be, if not exciting, at least a little bit stimulating. Something that will grab someone's attention and make them wonder or smile or even laugh out loud anything that's entertaining and interesting instead of the old dull boring every day of their life same old same old type of thing you'll hear all kinds of marketers talking about things that you have to do online and they always say you got to give value well, value to me is one of those words that people use that really don't mean anything. For instance, I've got the best value on T-bone steaks that you'll ever see. And yet, a vegan will be completely disinterested. As a matter of fact, they'll probably be offended by that. And yet, the person who's putting out, the, they say they're putting out value, but it's based on their opinion most of the time. When in fact, as the marketer, especially if you're writing copy, you've got to speak to what your audience is interested in. That's why I find it so funny on all these groups where people will be asking other people in the group, what is your opinion of this landing page or this sales letter or whatever? And you've got people that may or may not even be interested in that type of item, that product, that service. And they have no shortage of opinion, even though what they say has absolutely nothing to do with this person's list, their market, what, what their segment is, none of that. And there is only one way to find out what it is, and that's to put it out there. All of these people will give you the same, oh, you've got to provide value. Don't sell in your except for every third or fourth email or something like that and don't use this type of language don't use that type of language all of it completely irrelevant unless you're speaking to someone who regularly is in touch with that market and here's the only thing that you had better make sure you're doing this crosses every single boundary of every market everywhere you have got to be interesting. You've got to be entertaining. That's why people will keep reading your emails every day. That's why they'll keep coming back to your blog. That's why they'll watch your videos. Everything you do has to be something that someone would look at whether they're going to buy something or not. They're interested in what you're selling, but they may not, gonna be, they may not be ready to buy today. They might not be ready next week but they keep reading you and they like you because you take them out of their dull, boring day every day and just shine a little ray of sunshine on it. They will love you for that and when the time comes, that is why they will buy from you. Now, doesn't matter what you sell online, if you've got any kind of problem with it, if you wanna find out what the foundation is that you've got to have in place in order to effectively market something online, click the link in this message. You'll see something that will give you exactly what you need. That's all I got for today. I will talk to you tomorrow. I'm out.